turtle in the garden. Turtle in the garden. She likes it. Ivan's making rain for her with the hose. Look how cute her is. She gets a little swamp down there. And we think she's a girl because um, I looked up about turtles. I thought her eyes were orange, but they're kind of dark orange or brown. So she's probably a girl. Yep. Let me see her underside. And she doesn't have a dip in the underside of her shell. So that means that, see it's pretty flat right there. So that means she's probably a girl. You can yeah. see her eyes, they're kind of orangish brown. They're not really bright orange. Mm -hmm. So she's a little girl turtle and she likes our garden. That's gonna be tomatoes over there. They're gonna grow tomatoes, it's tomato plants. And look at these lovely sunflowers, yay. So if you look behind our house, they're building a house right there. That's like a brand new house that's not done. It's kind of behind some of the trees, but um, it's being done right now, but it's not all the way done. And these two houses behind us, they weren't there a few months ago. Like those are new houses. As you can see, that one is not totally done yet. And that one is pretty much done, only nobody lives in it yet. Also across the street from us, they've already cleared a lot because they're building another house over on that side. So they're, they're building houses everywhere in this neighborhood. So we estimated this turtle to be about 20 years old. And so she's lived here a long time and she's probably native to this forest that was here before this neighborhood was built. Isn't that right, Indy? You were native to this forest. So whatever was her home has been destroyed and uh, this neighborhood's been here for only the last few years. So she lived here long before any of us lived here. It's just an example of humans getting on the territory of wild animals and displacing them, unfortunately. So basically I have two choices here. I could let her go. Well, actually I have three choices. Let's see the choices. I could let her go uh, just around here and she might get hit by a car because now there's a busy road kind of close to here isn't there Indy or I could take her a couple of blocks away to the park where there's a creek and there's a lot of trees that they're not going to cut down because they save those as nature or we could keep her as a pet or give her to the neighbor as a pet and so I heard when you take uh, turtles out of their home range which is about 55 yards they get really stressed out and they try to find their home again but obviously she doesn't have a home anymore because it got destroyed the people chopped down all the trees and so the other option would be for somebody to keep her and uh, see I don't know if that's gonna stress her out more or if taking her to the creeks gonna stress her out more so everybody leave us a comment what do you think we should do with Indy should we set her free at the creek or should we keep her I just want what's best for the turtle, not what's best for us. Isn't that right, Indy? Oh no, Ayla's having a tantrum, okay? So I gotta go. So everybody, leave a comment. Okay, bye. So what happened was that after we made that video, the turtle left. Ivan was out there with her and he thought that he put her up back in her little setup we created for her, but he forgot. And by the time we went back out there to find her, she was gone. So she might be in our garden out there. We have a weed garden out in the back. Or she might have gone to somebody else's house. Or she might have found her way down to the creek. But whatever happened, I hope that she stays out of the road. Because that's where we originally found her. And hopefully she'll stay out of the road and she'll just go on to live 20 more years or however long they're supposed to go living. And um, yeah. Hopefully she'll find somewhere she likes around here and she'll be the neighborhood turtle. Okay, bye.